Hey everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to talk about what you can do if you're getting the problem on your iPhone that says could not activate cellular data network. There are a few reasons why this could occur. So first of all, you need to make sure that no matter who your carrier is, whether it's Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, or T-Mobile, that you actually have cellular service, cellular data service enabled for your account. So make sure that you have that done first especially if this is a new phone and you're experiencing this right from the get-go. If you've used cellular data before, this issue might come up if you've just updated your phone. Sometimes the settings get a little haywire and we just have to reset them. So if you're experiencing the problem and you know that cellular data is enabled for your account, this is what we can do to try and fix it. First of all, we're going to go into our settings and we're actually going to go to the cellular section here. And we need to make sure that cellular data is actually turned off. As you can see, it's currently turned off from my phone. Uh, but yours might look like that with the green on. So make sure that cellular data is turned off and that roaming is also turned off. From here, we're going to go back one in our settings and we're actually going to go to our Safari data. So you're going to scroll down here to like the third section and you'll see Safari at the bottom. From here, you're going to click on Safari and we're actually going to clear our Safari data. So down here towards the bottom, you'll have this link that says clear cookies and data. Go ahead and select that and then clear out all of that information. Now we're actually going to restart our phone. So we're going to hold the top button at the top right until we get the power off field. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn it off. Once it turns off, we're going to wait about five minutes here. And I'm going to fast forward in the video. Once our phone's been off for five minutes, we're going to hold the power button on the top right to turn it back on. Once the phone comes back on, we're going to go into the phone. You guys can see my code here. And from here, we're going to go back into our settings and we're going to turn Wi-Fi off just to make sure that when we do our test that we're actually using cellular data. And then we're going to go back into our cellular data section and we're going to turn cellular data back on. You're going to give it a minute and you want to make sure that you see your carrier coming up here with either 3G, LTE, something like that. And then you can just go and, tr and try and do what you were trying to do initially. So you could go try and send an email or you could just go into Safari and open up a web page so we could try and go to apple.com and as long as that page loads correctly you know that your cellular data is working. If this didn't fix the issue then you definitely need to contact your carrier and make sure that there isn't a hold on your account or something like that. But for those of you who do have it activated this should kick your phone into shape and get cellular data back up and working again. If you found this video helpful I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube and if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.